Today in Review This Thing, we're gonna review this thing, the Nightingale Run and Gun 200 Turkey Vest. If you're looking for a new turkey vest, whether you're unhappy with your current setup or you've never used a vest and you've been looking at them to see if it's something you may wanna try, hopefully our review of the Notting Hill Running Gun 200 will be just what you're looking for and help you decide. So last year I used a different turkey vest that was way too big. It was one of those kind of one size fits most, which pretty much means it's made for a man who's six one or taller and is a kind of common large or extra large. And I'm 5'4 and weigh 130 to 135 pounds, so it was definitely not made for me. When I saw this Notting Hill Running Gun 200 and saw all the adjustable features, I knew I had to try it. I've been using it for this turkey season so far, so I wanted to let you know what I think about it. So let's go ahead and review this thing. You know the drill, and review this thing, we're gonna cover the facts. The first part is fit. One of the main reasons I bought this vest is because of the fit. The fact that this has so much adjustability was the main thing that really impressed me. I definitely was looking for a vest that was gonna be snug and tight enough to where it wouldn't get hung on things and I wouldn't feel like it was getting in the way when I was trying to hunt. Not only does it just have less material than most vests, but it also has several places of adjustability. I believe it's actually 10 places of adjustability. You can adjust the chest, the waist. Then on the sides, there are places where you can adjust to make it even bigger around. There's also some adjustability on the top so you can make it longer or tighter there and then the seat also has uh, three places of adjustability so you can make sure that you have it exactly where you want it whenever you're walking around or whenever you're sitting and to me this is just awesome because no matter your body type you should be able to adjust it so that it's going to fit you Having said all that, I'm able to adjust it so that it's good and close and snug to me. And then also on those colder days when I have more clothes on, I can open it up so that it's not too tight. This season so far, we've done all kinds of hunting and so far I haven't had any problems with it flopping around too much or feeling like it's getting in the way. As I mentioned, the fit of the Run and Gun 200 is one of my absolute favorite parts. So because of that, I'm gonna have to give fit a five out of five. Now is the Not Hill Run and Gun 200 as advertised. The first thing Not Hill advertises is that it's super lightweight. They say it's the lightest one on the market. I haven't really weighed it against all sorts of other vests, but it does weigh about a pound and a half whenever it's empty which is absolutely crazy light even with everything in it that i have now it's very lightweight almost to the point where i forget that i have it on night and hell also advertises that it carries everything without weighing you down so that kind of goes with the lightweight part i will say that carries everything may just be a tiny bit of a stretch the water bottle holder is actually not ideal it's kind of loose so the insulated bottle that i wanted to use in it is too small so it would fall out. I tried an Nalgene bottle in it but it was almost too short for that Nalgene bottle. It was pretty easy to remedy though because of the molly capability it has on the side. I just bought this like 10 or 12 dollar water bottle holder from Amazon and was able to just slide it right through and it's actually worked great. I've worn it the past couple days and haven't had any issues with the bottle falling out or anything like that. Another thing we did have to kind of finagle is carrying my shooting stick. I always use a shooting stick, absolutely love it. I did a review on it if you wanna watch that, but there really isn't a place to put the shooting stick. Not a big deal, we just figured out that you can slide it between the, the opening on the top, between the shoulder pads, and it seems to work great there. They also advertise hands-free sitting, and this is also one of my favorite parts. Of course, I seem to have a lot of favorite parts about this vest, but the hands-free sitting is actually really nice. For this season, I've just walked around with the seat down, and I've been able to walk around without noticing it. It doesn't get stuck in my knees or anything, like that when I'm calming and then whenever I'm ready to sit down I literally just sit down and it's exactly where I want it and if you don't want to leave it hanging down you can just tighten up the straps and leave it up so if maybe you're walking for quite a ways before you may be hunting or something like that you can get it out of the way completely overall the run and gun 200 does exactly what they say except for being able to carry everything so because of that I'm going to give it a 4.8 out of 5 now onto construction and durability. Some of this stuff we've already talked about, so I'm not gonna belager those points, but I wanna touch on a few other things. The first thing is kind of a positive and a negative. The pack on this is fairly small. It's 198 cubic inches, they say, which comes out to about three and a quarter liters. Now during the warmer part of turkey season, it's plenty of room. You can throw an extra shirt or something just small in there. Where the problem comes about is where it's really, really cold in the morning. Like this morning, it was 31 degrees. If we hadn't been able to walk back to the truck so I could take off the really heavy layers for when it got to be 60 degrees, then there wouldn't have been anywhere to put those. I did run a little test and I'm able to put like a smaller lightweight jacket or maybe a sweatshirt in there with my roll of toilet paper. But other than that, you really aren't going to fit anything else in the pack part of it. One really nice thing about construction is all the pockets that it has and how easily accessible all the pockets are. There's a pocket here in the front where I have my pruners, my chapstick, I have a headlamp, there's little straps for the shells, my license, that's where I kept my snacks. It's actually a pretty roomy pocket, so that's very handy for all those things. On the front here is a magnetized diaphragm call pocket. 
So it gives your diaphragm calls the opportunity to, to dry out just a little bit, and it's easy to get to just with that magnet. Right behind there, there's another zipper pocket where I have my crow call, and then I have my little scuffers for my slate call and my crystal call. On this side, there are two slate call pockets that they just slide in and out really easily. Behind there is the pocket for your strikers. It fits four, so plenty of room there. Down here is a box call pocket. I don't use a box call. I tried to use it for my owl hooter, but today was actually the first time it happened. I was leaning over, trimming some briars and things like that, and it fell out a couple times. So that's not gonna go in there anymore after today. And then of course there is the pack, and then it has these bungee straps so that you can slide another jacket or something in there if you really wanted to. Another nice feature is that there is a little bit of padding on the back of the pack. So if you are sitting up against a tree or something like that, the fabric on the inside of the vest is kind of vented. So that helps with airflow circulation to help keep you cooler. On that same note, there isn't a ton of material in general. So it's not this big, heavy, bulky vest with a lot of material that's going to make you even hotter. Now, as far as long-term durability, I can't really speak to that because I've only had it this season. But so far, I, I haven't been easy on it and it's done really well. All the stitching, all the buckles, all the fabric, the zippers, everything still seems to be holding up. So I'm really happy with that. Overall, really happy with the construction of the vest. I do wish the pack was a little bigger, so I am going to take some off for that. I'm going to give construction and durability a 4.2 out of 5. Now on to testimonials and reviews. So overall, the reviews are really good. You know the drill. I look at the ones and twos and tell you the things people complained about. One of the things I saw a few times is people complained about the stitching coming loose. So far, everything is holding up. The stitching has not come apart on me. One person mentioned the pot calls fell out because the pocket was too big. Another person just a couple of reviews later mentioned that the pot call pocket was too small and it wouldn't even fit in there. So for me, I think they're perfect. They stay in place and I can get them in and out with one hand. A few people did mention that the pack part is too small. We already talked about that. I would definitely agree with that part. So the biggest complaint that I saw was about the stitching coming loose. Now keep in mind, there are a lot more positive reviews than negatives, and I can't really speak to that just yet. If that should change, I'll come back and let you know. But we're going to tell you the score that it got, so testimonials and reviews gets a 4.7 out of 5. Now for the big question, should you buy this thing? Now you know the drill, it totally depends on what you're looking for. If you want a vest vest that has all of the fabric, has maybe a big pocket for your decoy, or has a big enough pack to carry like a couple of jackets and things like that, then this is definitely not going to be what you're looking for. But if you're like me and you just wanted something for running and gunning, where it's got your calls, it's got a space for a snack and your pruners, stuff like that, and just a little bit of space for if you need to take a layer off, then this thing is absolutely perfect. I know I talked about it in fit, but I really can't talk enough about how much I like being able to adjust it so that it actually fits me and doesn't just flop around all the time. I do wish the pack was a little bigger. We talked about that. That and just the water bottle pouch being more secure. Those are the only things I would really change about it. It retails anywhere from 80 to 100, just kind of depending on where you get it. There's a couple of links below if you would like to buy it through there. So far, I have been unbelievably happy with it. It is so much better than the vest that I wore last year. I am absolutely loving it. So if you're looking for what I was looking for, absolutely, should you buy this thing, five out of five. Hey, thanks so much for watching our Night Hell Run and Gun 200 review video. While you're here, watch a whole bunch of other videos. If you like them, give them a thumbs up. Comment and let us know if you have this product and what you think. Also, if you really like what we do, subscribe while you're here. And check us out on Facebook and on Instagram.